Hi, this is Felix at D-Drum. Today, we are going to learn how to put D-Drum triggers on our acoustic drum set to access the sounds in a drum brain. This is a drum trigger. It allows you to access electronic sounds from your acoustic drum set. It's a very simple device. There's a piezo crystal, which is wired to an XLR output. Pretty much cut and dry. We house it in a metal chassis to protect it from stray hits from the drumstick or getting bashed up while it's uh, being transported. So now I'm going to show you how to mount and use a trigger on an acoustic drum. All right, now we're going to install the trigger. The installation of the tom and snare drum triggers is going to be exactly the same. The bass drum is a little bit different, but we'll show you that in a second. Basically what you're doing, you need the trigger, you need a drum key, and you also need your D drum cable. So what you're going to do, attach to the rim with the piezo pressing down on the drum head, gently compress to get it on the rim, and then tighten the drum key bolt. Do about a medium tight because you don't want to over tighten, which could cause double triggering. So then, after that's installed, take your cable, attach the XLR portion of your D-drum cable into the trigger and wait for it to click. Once it's clicked, it should be good. The other end, the quarter inch end, will go into your drum module. All right, now we're going to install the kick trigger. A little bit different than the toms and the snare because the kick drum has a wood hoop on it. There are rubber sections to protect the hoop from getting marred, so don't worry about hurting your drum. What you do with this one is you basically you slide it on here, and much like with the toms and the snare, you tighten one key bolt to get it on there. Same rule applies, not too, too tight, just tight enough to, to be snug. And then, like before, you attach your XLR, make sure it snaps, and attach the other end of the drum brain. Okay, now that the triggers are installed, we're going to run through some playing, utilizing the triggers on one of our Paladin Maple Rock kits. We're just going to run through a couple of different programs on our DD1 sound source, which is going to allow us to hear the triggered sounds, the acoustic sounds, and then a blending of the two. All right, that was the sound of the drum set acoustic. Let's hear it with the electronic samples. Now let's hear both sounds blended together. So that was the acoustic drum set. 
Now let's see what happens when we solo the electronic portion. Now let's go ahead and blend both sounds together and see what we come up with. There was the drum acoustically. Let's see what happens when we solo the electronic portion. Now let's go ahead and blend both sounds together and see what we can come up with. And that was an intro to triggering your drum set. For more information on this and any of the other products that we make, please visit ddrum.com.